Wearing kimono on budget isn't impossible, you just have to know how and where to buy your stuff. And I'm gonna give you a small shopping guide that could help you. In case you're here for the first time, my name is Billy Matsunaga and I am a fully trained and certified kimono teacher and stylist. I wear kimono every day or at least five days a week. And I couldn't do that if I wouldn't wear kimono on budget because I would already be totally broke. <laughs> Today I want to give you some shopping tips that can help you when going shopping for kimono on budget. Plus, I'm gonna combine this with a thrift haul so you can see how cheap my outfits actually are. When you're looking for kimono in Japan, you have a few options. First of them are so-called gofukuya. Gofukuya are kimono stores and they only sell usually new stuff and they don't sell their own designs because they are only merchants for kimono artisans. When you go there, you usually find a lot of pieces of cloth for kimono, so-called tanmono, and you would purchase one of them and then have that tailored to your size. If you ask me if I go shopping at Gofukuya, yes, I do. Sometimes they have sales and then you can get even very, very nice kimono, very cheap. Just be aware that they sometimes won't let you go without buying anything. That could get you into trouble. Be careful with that. Then there are second-hand kimono stores. Those are second-hand stores or thrift stores that are specialized in kimono. Sometimes they're also specialized in antique or very vintage old kimono. In those stores you can get kimono usually from very cheap to a decent amount because those stores know what they are selling there. They usually are specialists in kimono and they know how rare kimono are and they know how good condition they are and what a bad kimono. Those stores usually also have those rolls of kimono fabric called tanmono, which you can buy very cheap and then have that tailored at a kimono tailor, so called wasaishi, or you could also tailor them by yourself. Those stores are really fun because sometimes they have really, really rare stuff there. Um, and you can tell because it will be very expensive, which is a big difference to Japanese thrift stores. And this is the next thing I want to talk about. Thrift stores in Japan are probably the same as everywhere over the whole world. Um, they have a lot of knickknacks as well as vintage stuff, clothes, baby things, cups, um, porcelain, whatever you can think of. And usually in Japan, they also have a small kimono corner and sometimes it's a huge kimono corner. Thrift stores, what I really love about them is that usually they don't really have a specialist for kimono. They only sell kimono very, very expensive that are very famous or that would people more likely buy. Um, if it's a rare kimono, no one knows. You sometimes can get those very cheap because for the thrift store, it's more like, yeah, no one's going to buy this, so we're gonna make this very cheap. When you go thrifting or you go to a secondhand kimono store, definitely know your measurements. First, measure yourself. I wrote an article of my blog about that. I will link that down below. And you also should bring something to measure with you because they won't tell you, usually they won't tell you how big those kimonos are. And sometimes they write only the Japanese measurements for kimono on the tags and you have actually no clue what they are. Measure them by yourself, they won't stop you. You will be fine. I have a bunch of things here. Now I want to show you and I want to show you how cheap they actually were. And um, I have to admit it's a collection I have started in February to today to show you this video. So you can see you're not lucky every time, but you can get lucky a lot. So first let's start with some small items you need to wear for kimono. Um, I have purchased this every edition. This is actually something I have just purchased. It was 100 yen, which is less than a dollar or less than one euro. 
Um, then I have found a Han Eddy for men. This one was um, 50 yen, which is 50 cents or less. And I have also purchased kimono underwear, a so-called susoyoke, which is something you wear under your kimono. And the reason why I purchased this, also just got a bunch of kimono underwear, is because it's LL, so it's plus size. And um, I often dress up people who are for non-Japanese, not plus size, but for kimono they are plus size. So it's good to have those in your um, closet when you're a kimono teacher and stylist um, but um, I think probably I will use this by myself as well and it was 330 yen which is like three dollars or three euro so this was about a small items or how you would call it in Japanese kumono um, next up is this yukata you have probably seen me wearing for a few times now um, I fell in love with it. It was 500 yen, which is five dollar, a little less. I was always looking for a yukata like this that is dyed with indigo, so called isome. It still had the basting on it, so no one ever wore it, and I'm very happy that it's mine now. Next up is this kimono. <laughs> I have found this when I went thrifting with a friend last month and it was 1000 yen, which is less than $10. Isn't that amazing? It's real silk, when you touch it you can feel that it's real silk. And when you open it up you can see that it is an hitoe kimono! Yay! When you find hitoe kimono and then they have your size, this is real luck because Hitoi kimono are really rare out there and um, I don't have too many of them and I'm trying to kind of increase my number of hitoi kimono and I finally some kind of feel I'm getting there. <laughs> Next up is um, this obi. Uh, I don't know why but I just loved the texture of it. And I don't have a lot of red obi, so I'm kind of um, trying to have more red obi in my closet. Um, this one is very nice to tie and very light, so it's perfect for autumn, I think. And I try to combine this with this kimono. This obi was, by the way, 1,500 yen, which is less than $15 or 15 euros. In my last outfit, you could also see this obijime I also purchased at the thrift store. Um, I love the color. It's very hard to find a um, gray that I really like. So when I saw this, I just had to purchase it. Plus, it was in very good condition, so it's very easy to tie. This obijime was the usual price what obiage and obijime usually cost at second-hand kimono stores as well as thrift stores, which is 1000 yen, which is still um, about 10 euro or 10 dollars. So I think, yeah, if you really like it, just get it. Speaking of obijime, this one is actually one I was really thinking about if I should buy it or not because it was out of my budget because it was 1,500 yen which is about 15 dollars or 15 euros um, but it is still brand new because you can still see it has an original tag on it which is a department store in Kumoto and this obijime was originally at 7,000 yen which is 70 dollars or 70 euros so I thought, nah, let's get it anyway and don't care about 500 yen. <laughs> the next thing I found was this Avase kimono. Um, it was 500 yen. 500 yen. That is less than five dollars or five euros. And it's so beautiful. I was thinking about why it would be that cheap um, probably it could be polyester, but when I'm touching it, 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 it doesn't really feel like polyester, so it's really, really good polyester or it's silk. And to be honest, I think it's silk and I don't know why they put that price on it because it is 
pretty pretty big size so I can wear it. Um, it has no stains. I also combined this with the Obi I have purchased in the thrift store because red and blue should work. And I think that Obi really gives that kimono, although it's that blue, really really nice autumnish vibes. Next up is something you are looking at all the time. It's a kimono for men or it is better said a whole outfit for my husband. I found this kimono for 500 yen in the thrift store. Again 500 yen is about five dollars or five euros. It wasn't really his size but it was already tall enough that he could kind of wear it and I found this little pocket inside that shows that you actually can make this kimono bigger when you know how to do it. So I'm going to resew this kimono to my husband's size and it is also a hitoe. So he has a kimono for hitoe season which makes me very very happy and glad. Usually men always have to wear a kimono with a haori and I think that's also the reason why this kimono was that cheap because there was no haori with it which means you couldn't wear this. So Billy san is actually able to sew kimono and she also found in the same thrift store this nice roll of kimono fabric which is actually a roll for kimono coats. I guess this tamono is actually for women but with the color and um, the pattern of it you can actually tell I think. So I'm gonna make a haori for my husband for this kimono. This tamono by the way is dyed a very special way which is called dorosome and it means it's dyed in mud. <laughs> It also smells a little muddy to be honest. This was anyway still 2000 yen which is 20 dollars or 20 euros. Next thing I really want to keep your eye on is the undergarment I bought for my husband under um, the kimono. By the way this undergarment is something that I found in January and just purchased it because it was my husband's size and it's very very hard to find men's kimono in the certain sizes which is because men's kimono worn differently and you can't really adjust uh, the size as you could do it with women's kimono so you are very lucky when you find something in your boyfriend's or husband's or when you're male in your own size. This nagajupan is really beautiful and it was 500 yen. <laughs> I was laughing so bad because if this would have been a normal second-hand kimono store this Nagashiban in this very good condition, in that big size, would have been at least, I think, 5,000 yen, which is 50 dollars or 50 euro. And you can tell that thrift stores don't really have expertise and know what people are actually looking for when they're looking for kimono. Last but not least, what I always keep for the last thing for my hauls are Kimono rolls! Yay! <laughs> um, I have purchased um, this white silk kimono fabric and it is just beautiful with um, the woven pattern. This was, by the way, um, 1500, so 15 euro, 15 dollars. Um, I think this is very cheap for a tamono in this good condition. This one is definitely made for kimono. Sometimes those white fabrics are made to be an undergarment, but this one is definitely kimono, you can tell, because it's a little thicker and it's still white, which means I could um, dye it in any color I want to or just keep it like it is. I ask you on my Instagram what to do with it and a lot of you said yes, dye it. I'm still unsure if I really want to dye it or not. Um, if I dyed, I maybe would go in a very, very um, similar color, maybe a little deeper, so it won't turn yellow when it gets older, because silk turns yellow when it gets older. I hope you have enjoyed this little shopping guide slash thrift haul, and of course, among the options where to buy kimono in Japan, I left out flea markets and this is because I am planning on a little flea market vlog in um, the next months on this channel and I hope you are looking forward to this. Leave a comment down below about which outfits I have showed you today you like most, where do you go kimono shopping and which are some of your favorite 
things you found and were very cheap and you still love them so much. Share all of your knowledge with everybody down below. If you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe if you want to stick around a little more. And I talk to you in my next video. Bye!